On this episode of Living the Dream, Captain Jimmy and Louisa travel to Hotel Buena Vista Beach Resort in Baja, Mexico. And with the help of a massive bait ball, the fish won't stop biting. Fish on! Oh, it's a rooster! Hopefully we got a big rooster on. I see the silver. Woohoo! Look at those beautiful doors so big. Yeah. Wow, welcome to Baja, Mexico. Woo! Another fish on! Look at that drag streaming! Woo! Got him! Woo! He's a lifter! There he is! I got him! Fish on! Woo! Fish on! <laughs> Woo! Oh, look at him jumping! Oh, there he goes again! Just jumping! And on top of the fishing action, they take a four-wheeling excursion along the Sea of Cortez to fish from shore. Along the way, running into wild horses and the endless sights of Baja. This is Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson. Presented by Salt Life. Live salty. Ooh, good fish. That, that's what she was fighting all that yeah. time. Man, what a fish. Wow. Doesn't get any better than Baja. Baja, Mexico, a massive North American peninsula that juts out to form the Gulf of California, a 900-mile stretch of water home to a diverse and flourishing marine life. From Hotel Buena Vista's dock, Jimmy and Louisa head out early in search of the rooster fish. Along the way, their captain will stop for bait. Live bait is ideal for rooster fish. Not only does it grab their attention, but their large mouths can usually handle bait like blue runners, mullet, and goggle eyes. After locking down the bait, they head further down the bank to troll, and within minutes, Jimmy hooks up. Got him. I don't know what I have, but I think it's a little rooster. All right, well, welcome back to another episode of Living the Dream. Today, we're out here in Baja, Mexico at Hotel Buena Vista Beach Resort, and we're going to be trying for some rooster fish. We're inshore here, and we just started trolling, and it's a little rooster. It's exactly what we were after. There he is. Look at that little guy. Look how little he is. <laughs> Woo! He's a lifter. There he is. Just a little guy. Gotta be one of the smallest roosters I've ever caught. Holy cow. Miniature, newborn. Well, one thing's for sure, I can guarantee we're gonna catch one bigger than this today. <laughs> Woo! What a little rooster, and he didn't stick around long. Fish on! Fish on! Woo right there on the surface. It's not a rooster. What is it? It's a grouper. It's a little grouper. <laughs> that was a neat looking little grouper, but it wasn't what we were going for. Cute little guy. Right after that grouper, Louisa hooked into a trigger fish. Hopefully this is a rooster. What you got there? Is it a rooster? Not sure. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh. Is it a small uh, rooster? Is it? No. It's a trigger. It's a trigger Looks fish. Looks like a trigger fish to me. Check it out, guys. Trigger fish. This is a really good fish to eat, but we're gonna go ahead and release this since we have tons of options at the restaurant, back at the hotel. So we're gonna let this guy live here. There you go. The action continued hot for Louisa, but it was needlefish that she was catching, not roosters. Oh, I got a fish. It's a needle. 
Check it out. Lots of these guys around. Not what we're looking for, so we're gonna go back in the water. Right after releasing that needlefish, Louisa hooked into something a little bit bigger. I got him. Fish on. Woo! I think this is a rooster. I think this is the right fish. All right. Woo, it's taking drag. It's exactly what we're looking for. Look at that drag streaming. Woo! It's definitely running a lot more than the other one. I don't think this is a needle fish. I saw the rooster circling our baits and, uh, and then I got hit, so hopefully that's what it was. Nice fish, huh? Yeah. Is it pulling a lot of drag? Pulling a lot of drag, yes. And I'm fighting this fish here on a 40 pound high sea fluorocarbon leader. Excellent leader here. Lots of rocks, lots of things here that can they can rub against, so it's a good thing to have a really good quality leader when you're fighting a fish like this. Oh my jack. god. Oh, it's, it's a jack. jack. It's all right. Better than nothing. Jack Craval. Nice fish. Man, strong fish, huh? Strong fish. It's always, <laughs> it's always fun to catch them. Yeah. Right, there check he it is. Out. <laughs> Not a rooster. Not a rooster, but sure did pull good. <laughs> For sure, it's a good fight. Nice. We'll be back for more Live in the Dream right after the break. Live in the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by Salt Life. Live salty. Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler. Sea Deck, your boat deserves Sea Deck. ACR Electronics, the science of survival. And by American Fishing Wire. For Jimmy and Louisa, it's day one in Baja, Mexico, trolling inshore for rooster fish. Before the break, Captain Jimmy hooked into the right thing. Got him. Woo, he's a lifter. Whoop. There he is. The crew was hoping for something a little bigger, and although it wasn't a rooster, Louisa hooked into a nice jack. I got him. Fish on. Woo! Nice fish, huh? Yeah. Is it pulling a lot of drag? Pulling a lot of drag, yes. Jacks are a fun fish, and they'll put up a heck of a fight but they weren't the rooster fish that we were after. There was this huge bait ball that we came up on, and there were birds diving in it, grabbing stuff out of it, and there were fish cutting through it. It looked like there were some roosters and some jacks, and just a huge bait ball. We could see it from the drone above, and we could see it from the boat as we were passing by. So we pulled up slowly beside that bait ball, and we slow trolled some live bait right by it, and sure enough, Louisa's rod got hit. Fish on! Hopefully we got a big rooster on. I see the silver. Oh, it's a rooster. I see the stride. That was a little bit bigger rooster fish than the first one, but not a lot bigger. But it was still a fun-sized fish, and it was the right species, so we were on the right track. Nice rooster, Jimmy. Wow. Look at that fish on the surface. Woohoo! Gosh, they're such beautiful fish. I love catching them. I've caught them a few times already and I never get tired of catching them. They're so pretty. All right. Good fish, Louisa. Nice. Biggest one so far. Woo! Biggest one. Look at those beautiful dorsal fish. Yeah. Wow, welcome to Baja, Mexico. Good job. No monsters yet, but everyone just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Yes. Real pretty one. Hmm. All right, guys, about to release this beautiful fish here and hopefully catch another one. Thanks for the fight, buddy. The good thing is that he's kicking right now, so he'll be ready to go very soon. It wasn't a bad sized fish, it was a little bit better. It definitely wasn't the bigger roosters that were cutting through the bait ball, but we got one out of it, so that was cool. Thanks to the bait ball, Jimmy and Louisa have been able to put some roosters in the boat, but it attracts more than just one kind of predatory fish. 
Among them in high numbers is the needlefish. Oh, not exactly what we want here. It's getting in the way of our rooster fishing. What is it? The needlefish. Oh. Closely resembling the freshwater gar, the needlefish has a long, narrow jaw lined with pin-like teeth. For most fishermen, they're a nuisance. Their sharp bills can often destroy bait and even cut lines. Look at the needlefish did to it. It's destroying it. Gosh. We don't have, sure, we don't have any good baits like that. We have a lot of little ones, and the needlefish came in and destroyed it right in front of the rooster fish. This is what we're using right here. The needlefish aren't cutting us off, but they are fraying us up, so I'm retying every time I catch one of those. This is 30 pound quattro fluorocarbon by high seas. Really durable stuff. I mean, needlefish's teeth are very sharp. And to be able to not get cut off by him is pretty impressive. This one has it all the way down in his belly. And it was frayed up real good, but still didn't cut me off. So we've been lucking out on that. We'll be back for more Living the Dream right after the break. Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by CNH Lures. Be a winner with CNH Lures. Plantation on Crystal River, the place to stay and play along Florida's nature coast. Cayman Islands Angling Club, come experience sport fishing in paradise. And by Salt Life, live salty. Overlooking the Sea of Cortez and set on a coast of over 2,000 miles of lush tropical gardens that meet the desert highlands, the Hotel Buena Vista Beach Resort is any adventurer's ideal vacation spot. Whether you're looking to relax with the family or you're a serious angler looking for action, the resort boasts its own spa, restaurant and outdoor pool, as well as its own dock and beachfront, so you don't have to travel far to meet your captain. Another really cool thing that you can do right on site there at Hotel Buena Vista Beach Resort is you can rent ATVs and four-wheelers. If you let them know what you want the night before, they can have them there and ready for you in the morning whenever you're ready to go. You just go right up to the front desk, pick up your four-wheeler, your ATV, or whatever it is you decided you wanted to rent from them. And the other convenient thing is, after you pick it up, is right behind the resort is the beach. So you can go up and down the beach, you can go through the desert, you can do anything you want to do. You just have to have the ATV back when it's supposed to be back. And of course us, we love fishing, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna go out and try to find some fish on those ATVs. We saw several rooster fish while we were running those ATVs, and we stopped a bunch of times, and Louisa kept making casts at them, and it was hard to get them because they're moving so quick, and uh, we didn't have any takers, but she kept casting over and over again, trying to catch those rooster fish that we were seeing. We'd move down the beach a little bit and see another shadow, not sure what it was, and she'd run out of the four-wheeler and cast out there and try to hook up to something. And she kept casting and she started reeling in, and then all of a sudden she got a hit. So she's fighting this fish and bringing it in, and then we realized it was a needlefish. So we got back on the ATV and started running a little further down the beach to see if we could find something else. We were running down the beach on those ATVs and it was just such a beautiful ride. You have the ocean right beside you. The Sea of Cortez is right beside you as you're running down the beach. And we were going up some hills and over some mountains, kind of like around the edges of the beach where you couldn't get around the rocks. And then we ran into some horses. It was really cool to see wild horses right there off of the beach. Oh my God, this is pretty cool. We just found this lagoon type thing here. Fresh water with wild horses right across from the ocean. Like the ocean's right there. We were just casting for rooster fish. And oh, so pretty. You don't see that every day. So there was this little lagoon about 50 yards 
off of the beach. I mean, right there by the beach. And it was filled with horses, just wild. No one around, no one's property there, just the middle of the desert. Horses hanging out on the beach. I mean, it doesn't get any cooler than that. Some of them were playing in the water. It looked like some of them were drinking the water and eating the grass off the bottom that was growing there. That's something I would highly recommend doing while you're there because it's a lot of fun. And I bet you if you do it once, you're probably going to want to do it two or three times. That's how much fun you'll have on those ATVs. We had perfect weather this day. The water was nice and clear. It was just one of those days that, I mean, if you're going to be out on an ATV or a four-wheeler, that's the day you wanted to be out on. Everything worked out perfect for us. The sun was shining. The fish weren't really biting well, but it was still a lot of fun. And we saw a lot of really cool things. There's just amazing scenery out there in Baja. And to be right there in the desert as it goes into the ocean is just a neat place to be. And it was a neat experience taking a day to go out on those ATVs and spend some time on the water without a guide and just having fun by ourselves. We'll be back for more Living the Dream right after the break. After an early rise at the Hotel Buena Vista Beach Resort in Baja, Mexico, Jimmy and Louisa headed out to troll for rooster fish. And it wasn't long before the action started. Got him! Woo! He's a lifter! There he is! I got him! Fish on! Woo! Fish on! Hopefully we got a big rooster on. I see the silver. Oh, it's a rooster! I see the stride. Look at that fish on the surface. Woohoo! Look at those beautiful dorsal fish. Yeah. Wow, welcome to Baja, Mexico. So far, the roosters have been small, but in spotting a bait ball with some bigger roosters cutting through it, the crew is hopeful they'll land a heftier fish. A bait ball usually forms as a last-ditch defensive measure, adopted by small schooling fish when a large number of predators are about. A common center and uniform movements can make it difficult for predators to make a precise kill. But the bigger the bait ball, the more attention it draws, above and below the surface. So there's a big school of bait right over here, and it looks like there's some rooster fish or something cutting through it right now. We're just gonna kinda U-turn around and go back over that and see if we can catch whatever that is cutting through it. Hopefully it's not jacks again. Looks like rooster fish, but we'll see. Fish on! <laughs> Woo! Got him! Oh, look at it jumping! Holy cow, the whole thing jumped right out of the water! What a jump, that's a nice rooster, guys. Whoo! Oh, there he goes again, just jumping. Check that out. Whoa, good rooster. Rooster fish are such an awesome fish. They're so cool looking and they're aggressive and they're fast. And at the same time, they're smart, so they don't always hit your bait. So it is kind of neat going after a fish that does take a little bit of skill and you do have to trick them and have the right size fluorocarbon on and everything else to make the fish bite. There he is. Not a monster, but he's a little bigger than the last one. Let me get this hook out of his mouth here. He doesn't want to cooperate. You got him in a good spot. There he is. I guess he hurt his fins out there coming in. That's the rooster. A little bigger than the last one. Still not a monster. I'm not liking the way this guy's fins are looking. I'm gonna go ahead and get him back in the water quick. After releasing that rooster fish, we got set back up and ready to pull another one out of that bait ball. And sure enough, Louisa hooked into another rooster fish. It wasn't the huge ones we were seeing in the bait ball, but they were rooster fish, so we'll take them. Fish on. Woo! Another fish on. Oh, it's another rooster. Woo, and he's jumpy. Look at this little fish. He's showing us what he can do. Bigger roosters are very smart. They've probably been caught several times. I'm sure it's not the first time that somebody drove by and trying to pull them off of the bait ball. So it is easier to pull the smaller fish away from that big bait ball than those bigger fish that have been caught before and may be a little bit smarter. Woo! 
Ooh, look at this fish. It's putting up a show for all of us. Gonna give us one more jump. Woo, he gave us one more jump. <laughs> Very acrobatic. So Louisa pulled that fish right up against the boat and got it in position, and then we pulled it in the boat and landed it. All right. Another awesome Another rooster. Jeez. <laughs> Tons of them this size around big here. Big school right here around that bait ball. Yeah. It's pretty cool to be able to see a bait ball that big right off the beach. I mean, it is common to see bait, but not super common. And to have rooster fish cutting through it and jacks and everything else in it, it was really neat to be able to come up and to see that. And you don't see that every day, like I said, when you're on the water. Hold his tail for a second. Get the hook out a little easier like this when you keep them horizontal. These fish like their body supported. Throw that out there. When you hold it like that by its belly, it's a lot better than holding it by its gills up and down. Sometimes you do have to do that. All right, another beautiful rooster fish here. The wind is picking up, so we're gonna go ahead and release this guy really quick so we can go catch some more. It was another rooster, not a monster, but it was fun and we caught several that day. We had action from beginning to end with fish biting, so it was a really, really good day on the water. And that's one of the cool things about inshore fishing over in Baja, is that there's so many different types of fish you can catch, so many things you can run into. Last time we got into a bunch of African pompano and roosters. This time we got into roosters and jacks and needlefish and little grouper and a couple other things as well. But it's just a nice, fun type of fishing to do. You don't have to travel very far. You're only a couple hundred yards off the beach tops when you're doing it. So uh, it's definitely one of those things you'd probably want to put on your list to do if you do visit Baja. For more fishing and diving action, follow along on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at Captain Jimmy Nelson.